Like so I, I would not, like, I would not be surprised because of like what we share in this book that after our book counting the cost, if Jim Bob specifically gets another audit, the tax law is meant to make things fair, and it, who want to manipulate that and take advantage of it mm -hmm. and make it reflect something that's not what it was meant to reflect. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Tough Topic. My name is Brittany. I hope everyone is enjoying their day. And I'm going to be talking about Jill Duggar Dillard. And I've been actually thinking about her. And it's very rare that I get emotionally invested into a complete stranger's life that I have never met. But understandably, when you have put in hours of time, research for almost three years straight, there's moments where you feel a connection and a sense of closeness to that person. Although Jill's story looks a lot different than many, her trauma matches a lot. Did you all really think that Jill was done telling her story? Did you think that her writing a book or speaking on a documentary about the way she grew up would silence her based on her family's reaction alone? Absolutely not. Most of us have read Jill's book, Counting the Cost, that was released back in September. And if you have not and you would like to get some highlights from the book, feel free to go to my playlist named Jill's Book. So out of all of the details about Jill's life and her putting herself out there about her siblings, her mom, and even her dad, there was nothing negative from my standpoint of what she said. The book, Counting the Cost, was based on her life experiences, the behaviors from her dad, and the manipulation. She never once bashed him or name-called him. Nope, not at all, and I also didn't expect her to. Jill recently sat down with the Unplanned podcast and shared some things that weren't fully elaborated on in her book. Control from Jim Bob has been a popular topic as well as the brainwashing, but Jill states that Jim Bob was not being honest to the IRS when it came down to what he was paying them. The host asked if the reason her dad failed to report the accurate number, was it because he was worried that other siblings would want to be paid out as well? And Jill says, well, yeah, Jim Bob actually told them verbally that he couldn't do 20 times over. He would say, let me handle it. And she said that was just more of him wanting to take control. Jill's husband, Derek, then gives his opinion on it, saying that the tax law is designed to make things fair and people get equal and fair confused. And he says that Jim Bob would try to manipulate the system and says he's paying them one thing when he knows that that's not what he's been doing and he is still getting the benefit of controlling the money. Derek even compared his father-in-law to Al Capone, saying a lot of people look at Jim Bob as a person who was very generous to the community, just like Al Capone, who actually ran all these soup kitchens and doing good deeds. But behind all of that, there's the lies and the control, which I thought was such an enlightening example. Just as Josh, her brother, being the executive director of the Family Research Council, who would have known that he was doing the exact opposite of what he stood on that podium asking for. Now, even Derek says that Jim Bob will probably be audited due to them expressing what financial discrepancies they had over taxes and the IRS. I would think that this has taught Jim Bob better, but Jill has expressed that there has been no movement when it comes to the relationship between she and her dad, and she states that she hasn't seen him in over a year. So do you all think that there will be some type of accountability from Jim Bob and share like a public apology? I feel like that would be a way to get some movement in the right direction because Jill has already expressed that therapy has not worked in the past for them. But let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you won't miss out. Bye for now.